as Shantanu said earlier, we want everyone to have the creative skills to tell a story, their story, in a compelling way. And there's no better way to develop your creative literacy than through drawing and painting. Drawing and painting really do unite the mind, the body, and the imagination. And we developed Adobe Fresco to help everyone experience that, powering, that, that liberating power uh, of creation. What makes Fresco the world's greatest drawing and painting application? Well, Fresco has all of the technical tools digital artists need, including the ability to use vectors and powerful, versatile Photoshop brushes. But what really sets Fresco apart are the live brushes. Adobe scientists spent years studying real oil and watercolor paints. Fresco's live brushes reproduce those media more accurately and realistically than any other application out there, making the experience of painting and drawing in Fresco natural and expressive. Here to show you what you can do with Fresco is the one and only Kyle Webster. Kyle. Hello. OK, thank you, Scott. Uh, how's my hair? Good? I could spend my time up here telling you all about the professional features we have baked into the app, vector brushes, round trip to Photoshop, layer blending, masking, and so on. But what I really want to do is just show you how much fun it is to paint. So I've got a watercolor brush here, and I'm just going to put a little color on my canvas like so. And maybe this is small and you can't really see what I'm doing, so why don't I zoom in? Because I really think you're going to notice the magic when I add a secondary color. When that yellow touches that red, look at that gorgeous blend into the orange, just like the real thing. Now, these watercolors we control with two simple sliders, water and how much paint you have on your brush, just like a watercolorist would want. And sometimes I just sit there and I blend colors with no real purpose because it's just fun to look at it, frankly. All right, I'm going to add a little bit of purple down here in the corner. And every time it touches that red, we get a nice new color. And I'll just pull it up this way. Mm -hmm. Delightful. And a little bit of a bright blue. And every time it touches, oh, watch that. It touches that purple and we get a gorgeous violet color coming through. This is so fun to blend these colors in such a naturalistic way. And if I want them to be wetter, I just crank up the water, and I get a lot of nice bleeding effects like that. Maybe some of you have figured out what I'm painting here. Maybe not, but maybe it'll be obvious the moment I add that. OK, this is a toucan, one of my favorite birds, one of my kids' favorite birds. And what I love about toucan is it rhymes with you can. And I know that you can create beautiful art with this app because really it's as simple as just picking up a brush and going for it. So we'll add a little green there. If I want to go back to that yellow I used earlier, it's so easy because I have a color history panel right here waiting for me. So I never have to worry about, oh, what was that color I was using earlier? It's already there. No problemo. All right. I, sometimes I need a little bit of a detail. And for detail, I need a detail brush. And I've got a detail brush right here. And I'm going to use a darker color. And you'll notice that I'm able to bring that brush to a very fine point, just like that. And this is because this brush will respond to that pressure sensitivity. So more pressure, wider mark. Less pressure, less so. Let's give him a little eyeball. It's important for him to be able to see his environment. Very nice. Here's something I couldn't do in the real world, which is pick up an eraser and just start wiping away some watercolor. Put a highlight right there, a little highlight in the eye. Couldn't be simpler. I'm going to go now to my wash brush and just bring some of that color down. And then I'm going to do something really fun, which is paint with pure water. Now, with Fresco, all you have to do is select your color wheel. At the bottom right corner, you'll notice we have a transparent circle. The moment I select that and then use a nice soft wash brush, all I'm doing is adding water to the canvas. So look at how that all blends together. Beautiful. I'm not adding paint. I'm just painting with water. So I think our little guy looks pretty happy, but he needs a place to live. And I'll tell you something else I like about working in a digital environment. I can take anything I've made, I can enlarge it, I can rotate it, I can reposition it on the canvas, like so. Can't do that with paper. Sorry, paper, I love you, but let's get serious here. All right. Now, you know I love Photoshop brushes, and I've got some of my favorite Photoshop brushes saved right here. And I'm going to use a foliage brush. Now, a foliage brush means, literally, I'm going to paint foliage with a couple of taps like that. It's almost like cheating, but that's OK. We use a little lighter color on top for some highlight, and then I'll grab a leafy line brush, paint some leaves. Look at that. Very nice. And another leafy line brush. Why not? Since we've got it, go over there. Select a slightly lighter color, maybe. 
I'm just having fun. This is the whole point. And I love spatter. Nothing's ever done without spatter. So we've got to throw some spatter on top of everything. Why? Because I said so. There we go. Spatter. Let's do some yellow spatter. How pretty is that? Now, here's something cool. I go back to my watercolor brush, and when I paint over what I've just done with Photoshop brushes, mind you, everything gets wet again. See that? So these areas that I'm painting are picking up all the color that was just put down with the Photoshop brush, but since I'm using a watercolor brush, it's going to make it wet. And that gives you a whole other range of possibilities for your painting. I think we need a little more spatter, don't you? There we go. OK, great. Now, let's take him and move him over here, blow him up a little bit. And next, I'm going to dry the paper. Simple as this, I say dry layer. And what this allows me to do now is if I go back to that detail brush I was using, I can paint on top of this, and it's going to still acknowledge that there's color underneath, and it's going to blend all that color. But the lines I'm painting, the shapes I'm painting, have a clear, crisp edge. So essentially, we give you three ways to use watercolor in fresco. You can use it wet into wet, wet on top of dry, or wet on top of paint that's still sitting on the paper. This is really, really powerful. So I think I'll add a little circle around the eye, like so. And there we have a happy toucan living in a happy forest, looking at his environment. And the thing about toucans is, like, are they ever unhappy? They must look in the mirror and say, oh, everything's good, right? All that bright color. That took me a couple of minutes. Watercolor, Photoshop brushes, boom, we've got a nice illustration. But I want to move on because I want to show you something with oils. For hundreds of years, artists have been using oils to create these rich, textured paintings with tons of depth. And I'm just going to zoom in here for a moment because what I really want you to see is the rich, textured, detailed surface of this painting as I pan around here. It looks like the real thing. And what gets really fun is when I start to take my brush and just push all that paint around. So I can blend a little bit with light pressure, or I can really dig in. And you can see the bristles actually pulling that paint. And over here, you'll notice there's a little bit of canvas texture coming through. Now, that canvas comes through because I'm using light pressure and I'm just grazing the surface. All right, now, if I select some color and then really dig in, look at that. Ooh, it all blends together. So much fun. OK, now, to finish off this painting, what I really think we need to do is give this farmer some more detail. So I'm going to jump out of full screen mode and select an oil painting detail brush. Got it right here. Since we have a sunny day, you can see the shadows are coming down from the trees there. What I want to do is add some sun to the brim of the hat and the top of the hat. And simple as doing this, a little bit of color. There we go. The lighter the pressure is that I use, the more it picks up the underlying color and blends it in. And I'm going to use a bright green to pop that collar out, draw on the shoulder a little bit there, and down the arm. The other shoulder, the forearm, just like that, we're giving some form to this figure. And I think we need to get this leg to come forward. All I have to use is a lighter value of that deep, dark color. And if I do this, then we get the impression that that leg is bending and coming forward. And just like that, we have a painting that, honestly, if you were to print this out and hand it to somebody, it looks like real oil paint, except that now I can use undo and layers. So again, cheating, but in the best possible way, right? So folks, listen, any artist can start with a thumbnail sketch in fresco and go all the way through to a final high-resolution piece of art and give it to their client. But what I love most about this app is it brings me back to that feeling I had as a kid, the pure joy of just creating something new through the act of drawing and painting. Thank you very much. It's kind of, kind of mesmerizing, huh? Uh, so thanks, Kyle. We shipped a new version of Fresco for iPad this morning with a ton of great new features. So hopefully you check it out. And today. We're very excited to launch versions of Fresco for select Windows and Surfic devices and the Wacom Mobile Studios. Fresco is powerful and versatile enough for professionals, artists, and illustrators, but we want everyone to engage in the art of drawing. And so that's why we're offering Adobe Fresco as a free application with the option of upgrading for unlimited brushes and a few other premium features. And the premium version of Fresco is available in select Creative Cloud plans um, since we launched a few weeks ago, people have already created over a million drawings and paintings in the app. And since everything you create in Fresco is saved as a Photoshop cloud document, you can open your work in Photoshop on desktop or iPad 
to add more effects. And, and this is really what we mean when we talk about turning our desktop products into multi-platform cloud-based systems. These systems make it easier to create anywhere, anytime, and collaborate with anyone. 